There's no place for a toad. What is it? I don't know.
how did I ever vlog while hiking at the same time? Nope! <laughs> rock climbing today.
，大笑了。all the way up here to get a better view. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. What to do now? Because I just walk down. Oh. Wow, what an absolutely beautiful area Kamikochi is. I was absolutely blown away from the second that I arrived there. Uh, unfortunately, I was kind of rushed on both of the days because I had quite a lot of ground to cover. Um, I think I hiked a total of like just under 40 kilometers for the two days. And uh, it was like quite a lot of elevation. I think like 1,000, 500 meters in elevation or something as well. So uh, yeah, yeah, quite a lot of distance. And I think I found my limit. <laughs> I got back from the trip and I was just absolutely dead. And I think that I um, took me about a week to recover. My muscles are still a little bit sore. It's actually the third highest mountain in Japan with uh, the number one highest being Mount Fuji, obviously. Um, but even though it was lower than Mount Fuji, I think it was definitely more challenging just in terms of the hiking duration and the kind of terrain that you have to cover to get to the top, but it was very rewarding. Um, I mean, not really the day that I was there wasn't super rewarding, but on a clear day, I think that the view would just be absolutely insane. Uh, so it kind of makes me want to go back on better weather. I think if I was going to do it again, I'd probably spend an extra day here just to make sure that I can fully, fully appreciate all of this beauty. And also, hi everybody. I decided to show my face at the outro this time. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm also well aware of the fact that it's been like over a month since my last video. Uh, I think this is the longest, the longest time I've ever gone without posting on YouTube. Um, and it's been really good for me. I, uh, I've had a lot of changes, a lot of things happening in my life that has meant that I wasn't able to get out and travel as much. And also I kind of just wasn't, wasn't feeling like making videos. Uh, I'm being very vague right now intentionally, but just know I'm totally fine. I just 
took a bit of a break and it was very good for me. Um, but I'm, I'm happy to be back and happy to be back out in the wilderness and the mountains in Japan. It was just so beautiful. I don't know why I never really like occurred to me. Like I know Japan is a mountainous country, but I never really thought that Japan had Alps. But turns out there's two of them, the Northern Alps and the Southern Alps. And I just scratched the surface of the Northern Alps. So I'm really, I'm like, like pumped up. I'm hyped to see all of the rest of the the mountain ranges that they've got in Japan. Uh, there's actually a list of the top 100 famous mountains in Japan and it it kind of feels a bit like a to-do list. I'm now like slowly kind of <laughs> trying to work my way around them, I guess. I don't know. If anything, it's just like a good, a good travel starting point. So contrary to what some of the comments would have you believe, uh, I am traveling by myself. I do do all of these trips by myself and there's nobody holding the camera. It's all just me and my tripod, da, da, da. this is a new tripod and it was sent to me by Peak Design, so keep that in mind. But I've been wanting to try this tripod for a really long time. I've heard lots of people saying really great things about it. And yeah, yeah, they were right. They're 100% right. This is just an outrageously beautifully designed tripod. I never thought that I would say that about a tripod. You think like a tripod's a tripod, but no, I, I don't want to use any other any other tripod anymore. So this is the Peak Design Carbon Fiber Travel Tripod, and it is just beautiful. I, I really do think that the name Peak Design is just the perfect way to describe all of their products. They are just designed in the most beautiful, sleek, minimal, elegant, reliable way. So this tripod only weighs like 1.29 kilograms and it can hold up to nine kilograms of camera equipment. And it just feels so sturdy and reliable. The thing is very precariously placed on a couple of rocks, but it's so sturdy. Like, I don't even worry about it at all. Something about those feet, they're like, I don't know. They got like little hands on it, they grip the floor. So good. And when you're like me, you're kind of in a hurry doing a lot of active things and you've got to set up a tripod. It's usually the most annoying thing in the world, but uh, this makes it so easy. Everything just, just like, it, listen to this. It's just so smooth and sleek and everything works perfectly. I think my favorite thing about it is like all of the little clips and extra pieces that are attached to the tripod, they all go down really smooth and flat, which means that when I put it in my bag, I can literally slide it in my bag with all of the other things that I've got in there and it goes in nice and smooth. It doesn't catch on anything. Thank you so much Peak Design for sending this to me. I will be using no other tripod for the rest of my life, probably. <laughs> I love this so much. Uh, so if you're interested in Peak Design, go and check out the link in the description. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, like my videos in 2020, everybody's favorite sponsor is back again and that is Squarespace. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and making it possible for me to make all of these videos. So if you haven't already heard, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to help you build your own beautiful website. They make it so easy for you to design your own site. All you have to do is choose from one of their award-winning design templates, just add in whatever text and photos you want and it's already optimized for mobile and everything just works beautifully. And it's not just limited to blogs or home pages for people like myself, but uh, literally anything that you could imagine for a website. If you want to sell things, if you want to have an online portfolio, whatever you want, Squarespace has got you covered. It's just really helpful to have all of the tools in the one place. So if you'd like to get started with Squarespace, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash currently Hannah for 10% off your first purchase of a domain or a website. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Thank you to Peak Design. I'm just thanking everybody right now. Um, and thank you for being so patient in waiting for uh, this video. I, uh, I really do appreciate it. There are more videos on the way and I really hope that you enjoyed this one. I've got links in the description down below for like all of the information that helped me plan my own trip to Kamikochi and Mount Okuhataka. So yeah, go and check them out if you're interested. Uh, let me know what other mountains you think I should climb in Japan. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.